It is cold out there. We're talking wind chills about minus 16 in that area at this hour. It is another cold one outside with those dangerous wind chills well below zero. And in such cold temperatures, it can be hard to stay warm. Christine is talking with former fire marshal Dave Sharon about safe ways to get some extra heat. Christine? Well, first things first. I mean, thank goodness we're not in that. Right? <laughs> right? Things could be worse. <laughs> when we were talking about ways to stay warm, you know when you get so cold you're just itching for that little extra heat? I knew there was one person I had to get on the phone, Fire Marshal Dave Sharon. How do we stay warm <laughs> safely? Because there's kind of a balancing act here. Well, you know, first of all, the most common thing people will do is if their furnace isn't working right or it's not keeping up, uh, is to get a space heater. Right. And there are some real simple reminders about space heaters. First, if you can, don't buy used space heaters. Okay. Because every year there's more added to the recall list and you may not have a way of knowing that. Okay. Uh, make sure you do things such as keeping at least a three foot radius all the way around them. Oh, interesting. Of things that are think like a burn such as drapes, furniture, people and pets. Fingers. <coughs> Fingers. Make sure that you only plug them directly into an outlet and not into an extension cord. Okay, interesting. <coughs> Why is that? The uh, the manufacturers actually tell you that, you know, you not knowing what the rating is of your cord, you could overheat it. Well, and, and you have a grandson, I have a child <coughs> myself. We know they love to throw toys too. You right. want to make sure. And, uh, you know, the other thing is don't cover them with anything. Okay. And make sure, of course, that you don't leave them on all day and all night. There's, they have timers on newer ones, just like this one comes with a timer. However, there's none made that say they can work for 24 hours a day. Yeah, it makes so sense. So when you leave home or you go to bed, you know, make sure if there's no timer that you're not leaving those things on. What are some other things that we shouldn't use? We always hear that people want to use ovens sometimes to stay warm. Right, and and whether it's, you know, gas or electric, it doesn't matter. They're not space heaters. Okay. Uh, the problem, obviously, with using a, a gas stove is that now you're getting more of those uh, extra pollutants, yes. uh, the carbon monoxide and formaldehydes that normally are present in natural gas right. that you're getting into the area because you've got the oven open and you've got burners on. So don't use those things. They're a fire hazard. They're also a burn hazard okay. <coughs> and for respiratory issues. Yeah. Electric, the problem with using an electric one is that you can also overburden it to where it may short out. Okay or you will definitely lessen the lifespan of it because it can never keep up. If you've set it for the highest rating, it's never going to catch up to right. that. So. What is the best thing you can use <coughs> to stay warm, though? Or is it just bundling layers, blankets, whatever you got inside? Layers. And, okay. and if you have people that, if maybe you're having an issue, you know, having funds to fix those things, or you're having an issue at, at a rental property, you know, Call 211. Right. They can direct you to some agencies that might be able to help you pay the bills, might be, uh, help you to get uh, some additional heating yeah. resources. Such so, a great recommendation. And, and just use common sense because yeah. common sense sometimes is not common uh, practice. So. Well, and really, really quickly, I do want to point these things out because these are going <laughs> right. to save your life too, a carbon monoxide detector and it's, smoke alarm. It's the best time of year to make sure you have working carbon monoxide and, and smoke alarms. Yeah. So if you have an issue with one of these devices, something's going to let you know to get out and stay out. Great reminders. You know firsthand you've been doing this a long time. Thank you for, for pulling yourself away from your grandson for us <laughs> a little bit. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right.